The first week of February calls for celebration. It's National School Counseling Week. And here to tell us about it is Lori Lebrun, president of Rhode Island School Counselor Association, Joseph Battiano, the 2018 Rhode Island School Counselor of the Year, and Christine West, Joseph's ASL interpreter. Good morning to all of you. Good morning. Good morning. So happy to have you all with us today. Lori, let's start with you. Tell us a little bit about this week. How long has it been around for? National School Counselor Week has been around for a very long time. Um, we, it really is a, a week to celebrate school counselors um, and bring an awareness to what school counselors do mm -hmm. on a daily basis uh, with the students that they work with. Because school counselors are slightly different than guidance counselors, yes. right? Yes. So quite a while ago, ASCA changed the name from guidance counselors to school counselors because it's a very different role. Um, school counselors now um, go out into classrooms, they do group lessons, they uh, of course do individual counseling with students, mm -hmm. um, but it's a very different role so that we can meet the needs of all of our students. We have very large caseloads. Mm -hmm. um, right now I have about 380 students on my caseload. Wow. So in order to meet their needs, we do have to go out and connect with them in, in other ways than just in our office. Certainly. And yeah. Joseph, you're one of those who does connect with yeah. these students. Where do you work and just how many students would you say you interact with on a daily basis? I actually work at the Rhode Island School for the Deaf in Providence. And I work with all the deaf students who attend. I have about 85 students, and all of them have individualized education plans. And the age span goes from kindergarten all the way to grade 12. What, what piqued your interest in becoming a school counselor? Did you have an instance, maybe growing up, that you, see, you sought some guidance from a counselor? What was it for you? Well, actually, um, my first undergraduate major was TV production. <laughs> and then it just so happened that I worked a side job. And there was one student there who attended a group home. And that student said, I think you'd make a great counselor. And I never really thought about that before. And I said, yeah, maybe you're right. And so I already had some of those skills. And I decided to go back to graduate school and become a school counselor. And I've been doing that ever since 2004. Well, that's been quite a long time then, since 2004. What, what, how does it make you feel? How do you feel like it's a rewarding occupation? Yes, absolutely. It's nice to see students when I'm working with them and to have that aha moment. Uh, it's like a light bulb goes mm -hmm. off in their minds. And so, yeah, that is rewarding. And it's nice to, to witness those moments with them and to see that, yes, this is exactly what I'm looking for. So yes, I do enjoy that. And what was it like last year when you received that honor of being the school counselor of Rhode Island? <laughs> it's funny because I wasn't expecting it, actually. Mm -hmm. I was just uh, sitting down, and the person who won the award last year was talking about it. And I thought it would be any of us who were in attendance that day uh, and felt that it should be. And so then the uh, discussion became a little bit more specific, mm -hmm. and then I realized they were talking about me. And I was very surprised and very honored, mm -hmm. and I was happy that my family could share that moment with me. It really is a huge honor, and I'm so glad that you took the time to sit with us here today, kind of combining both worlds, because I know you said you started in TV production, so it's nice to have you back in this element. Thank you. Lori, uh, if we want to nominate anyone, is there time to do so? If there is a, a special you know, school counselor in, in our life or that we want to give recognition to? So typically the uh, nominations go out in around the fall, late mm -hmm. summer in the fall. Um, and it's done through the Rhode Island School Counselor Association. So certainly anyone can go on, log on to our, our website and we usually post it right on the website for nominations. We always mention how teachers touch our lives so much and we carry that with us through the rest of our life, but there are so many other folks in a school, yes. aside from the teachers, that have a positive impact and Joseph, you're one of them. So thank you both again you're so welcome. much for Thanks joining for us, us here today. Thank you. And, and thank you too, Christine. Uh, if you know someone in your life that has made an impact, please make it known to them because we want to acknowledge them. And uh, thanks to all of you for coming in, tell us, telling us about this important week. And thanks to all of you who are school counselors out there.